Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give our praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rukal Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. Those are the men that taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Akwat, who are sincerely seeking his truth. It's the brother Yarayaya Shadala and the brother Yaikwab Yahawada from the GMS Italy camp. And we're out here once more as we do, you know, week in, week out, to prophesy the downfall of this kingdom and also to warn the children of Israel who are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos of the coming danger, of the coming, um, of the coming destruction. So we're telling them to come back and embrace their, um, their what's that word? Heritage. heritage. To come back and embrace their heritage and start to call upon the name of the Most High Yahweh and the name of His Son Yahweh Shai for salvation. Because, you know, only those who call upon the name of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and when we say the name of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Yahweh is the true pronunciation and the true way of calling his name in the Paleo Hebrew. And Yahweh Shai is the true way of calling his son's name in Paleo Hebrew. Okay? Because the name Jesus comes from a Renaissance name and it comes from Greek. It has a Greek origin in which our Savior Yahweh Shai was of the tribe of Judah, a Hebrew Israelite, in which it necessarily have to need to have the name of a Hebrew Israelite. But you see, ever since the, 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 the word has been given into the hand of the wicked, the so-called Edomites, the so-called white man in power, ever since power was given unto them, you know, they changed everything, they turned everything around. They started, you know, changing the doctrine, they started changing the names, you know. But as it is promised that in the in the last days we're going to call upon the name of the most high Yahweh Bashem Shai and you know, he's going to give us back this pure language, which is the book of Zechariah. Um, I think Zechariah 3. Zephaniah. Zephaniah. That is Zephaniah 3.10. Ah, no, sorry. Um, Can that one is also speaking about um, something else? Uh, what's that scripture? Nine, nine. Three, nine, right? Yeah. Sure it is. Let me see what's in ten. Beyond, okay, Ethiopia, okay, Can three, nine. Yeah, this is Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 9. It says, For then will I turn to the people with pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. So you see, according to the prophecy, it says that the Most High is going to turn unto us a pure language, you know. And that pure language is the Lashawan Kadash, it's the Paleo Hebrew, it's the language that was spoken in Canaan, okay. So the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will turn unto us that language so we can call upon His name. Okay? So if you're not calling upon that name, salvation cannot come because my name cannot be, my name cannot be John and you're calling me, and you're calling me Luke. I wouldn't turn back, you know? And if you go to the book of um, Jeremiah, the 29th chapter, Babakasha, you know, to those who seek, the Most High is going to, is going to give them you know, understanding. Right. Yes. Right. Jeremiah 29. Yeah, and also, you know, uh, like the brother said, calling upon the name, uh, you know, it really means because the scripture says, in the last days it shall be in the hand of our captivity. You know, in other words, we are calling upon the name of our Heavenly Father, which means He is. And the name of his son, which means he's the savior, you know. So we are calling upon him to come and deliver us, you know. But in the in these days, in this end, in this world we are living now, the, the the whole world are not calling upon the name of the Lord, you know. They're calling upon some other names. Yeah. So you can read for 
Jeremiah 29 from verse 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Okay. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. So to give you an expected end. This, these are the plans of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, he has a plan of putting us back to our natural positions as the, as the administrators of this kingdom, you know. So he has good plans for us. But the so-called devils that are in power, they don't have good plans for us. So you shouldn't follow their ways. Now, speaking on calling upon the true names of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, if you really seek him, man, the truth is there. Read on. Verse 12. Then shall you call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. So how do you call upon the name of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai, and he's going to hearken unto you? You have to call him uh, according to the, to, to, the, to, to the pure language that is going to be given to us, as we read from the book of Zephaniah 3.9. Okay, read on. 13. And you shall seek me, and find me. So when if you seek the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai. He is definitely going to, you know, reveal himself to you. If you seek the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai with all your heart, he is definitely going to reveal himself to you. Okay, so there is no excuse because this truth has been preached in all four corners of the earth, thanks to the internet that the Most High created. You know, read on. When you shall search for me with all your heart, let me read it again, chapter thirteen, and you shall seek me and find me. When you shall search for me with all your heart. So you see, if you search for the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai with all your heart, you're going to find the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay? The Most High, you know, he was angry with us, but, you know, he has already promised us that if we search for him with all our heart, he's going to reveal himself to us. So, this is not the time you want to be going after your vain, your vain, your vain dreams, your vain plans. This is the time a wise man is going to seek the truth and return to its heritage because there is a great destruction coming for this kingdom as we know it. Get the book of um, Sirach, um, the 33rd chapter, Yahweh Shemi Shai Baraktam, I believe. Yes. No, 34 rather. Read from the from the first verse. Sirach, which is also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 34, verse 1. It said, The hope of a man void of understanding are vain and false, and dreams lift up fools. So you see, the hope of a man void of what? Understanding. Okay, is void. Yes. Now, what is understanding? Get that scripture that says, In all your finding, get understanding. You know? Understanding is the understanding of the true name of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, whereby salvation comes. You know, the, uh, the, um, the, the prophet David, he said, I'll call upon the name of the Most High and he will hearken unto me. You know? Read. Yeah. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Now go back to Sirach. Wisdom is the principal thing. Okay? If you're, if you're a man of understanding, the first thing you want to get is wisdom. And what is wisdom? Just like we said in the week that passed, who created all these things? Looking at the sky, looking at the light, looking at the sun, the moon, there is definitely an architect behind everything. Who created your brain that is so, so elaborate than any computer on earth? Who created your heart that pumps you know, blood to all parts of your body? You know, there is a there is a beautiful machine that's that's been created which is the human the human body system and there is a you know the, the nature and everything these plants they grow by themselves you know water and all these things there is someone who created all these things if you're wise you would seek for who created all these things and not give heed to all these fables and doctrines of of devils can you get um that scripture real quick that um they shall give it i think it's first timothy um, to doctrines and doctrines of men, you know, you know, because this is how this devil, you know, it came into power and started spreading lies, lies and lies to confuse you, you know, to, to deprave you from the truth. 
Because if you're a wise man, the first thing you ask is, who did all these things? And you wouldn't give heed to all those fake and um, weak fables that they tell you come from, you come from the apes, you know? They tell you after some billion years, you know, something just happened, a big bang just happened, in which science itself is going to prove to you that, you know, there is no, um, there is no product without an action, you know? Someone needs to give an input for anything to happen. Okay, you read? Yeah. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Go back to that. You know, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Why are they giving heed to the doctrines of the devils? They're giving heed to the doctrine of devils because it suits their mind. It suits their heart. It suits their plans. Because they all have vain and foolish plans, man. You know, it's not in the heart of man to seek the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and be in, um, and be, and, and, and be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, damn, man. What's the word I'm looking for? It's not in the heart of man to seek the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and seek his mercy. You know, in other words, you know. But it's in the heart of man to do evil and wickedness, you know, because their heart is set on that. So they wouldn't seek, you know, the truthfulness of this thing. They just go all according to their vain and imagina uh, imagination, their dreams. Let's read again from the top verse. Yeah. Ecclesiastic chapter four, 34 verse 1. The hope of right. a man void of understanding of vain and false and dreams leap up fools. So you see, the hope of a man void of understanding of this truth is vain and void. If you're not seeking the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, all your plans are vain and void. You know, when destruction comes, you receive the whole destruction in full, man. And you see, people go after dreams, you know, they believe in their dreams. And that's what this kingdom pushes, you know. Follow your heart, follow your dream. But the Bible tells you that the heart of man is the most deceitful thing, you know. So in all your understanding, just like the brother, uh, the brother read, seek wisdom and knowledge and understanding from the Most High. You know, that's the major thing that you should do. Because anything you go after in this kingdom, if it is not, um, if it is not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Today I'm just losing words, man. If it's not according to the word of the Can, if it is not according to the word of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, it's all vain. Because remember the book of First um, Peter, you know, I think three or so. It tells you that um, knowing that all these things shall dissolve, what manner of men shall ye be? You know? Yeah, it's right because the Lord said that my thoughts are not your thoughts. Can't. Your ways are not my ways. You know, he said that let the wicked forsake forsake his way. You know? So what he's trying to say, like, yeah, shall I say that seek you first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. You know? So his righteousness is found in this book. That's what he's, he's, he's brother is saying we have to know what is pleasing unto the most high what is like and what is dislike not according to the word i've taught us in the past you know so that is that is really what it means by being born again coming back in our heritage like the brother said coming back in our heritage means we have to know what our heavenly father plans for us yeah his plan for us what is like and what he dislike and all these things is is written is found in this holy scripture no? You know, but the people, they go after their vain dreams. They go after their vain imaginations, man. Read on from that, um, Sirach 33. We're going to read, um, oh, 34, sorry. We're going to read, yeah, there is a lot of meat here, man. Okay, read the second and the third chapter. Sirach 34, verse, verse 2. It says, whoso, whoso regarded dreams, it's like him that Catch it at a shadow and follow after the wind. Can also regard a dream is, is like one, you know, that, that walks, that, that tries to catch his own shadow or catch wind, you know. And these dreams is actually talking about, you know, when you have all these false, um, false prophets, you know, trying to, 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 to give you some wicked interpretations of dreams and telling you that, oh, because you had this dream. That you're going to you you were you were you were you were you were swimming in money it means you're going to become rich and this also means you know your fake and false imagination following your heart you know but i'm going to take it from this point of view 
if you're following your so-called dreams in this kingdom if you're following your 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 aspirations in this kingdom if your aspiration is not the kingdom of heaven okay if your aspiration is not the kingdom of Yahweh shy then you're going you're trying to catch your own shadow or you're trying to catch wind you know that's how it is being seen before the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh shy so it makes no sense that you're trying to you know go after your own careers go after your own dreams you know and leaving behind you know the truth you see the bible says in all you're getting you know get wisdom man you know yeah how i told you as the brother just you know just you know said that you know seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and everything else is going to be added read on verse, verse three the vision of a dream is the remembrance of one thing is a resemblance it's a resemblance of one thing to another even as the likeness of a face to a face so you see when you're going after these dreams and after these your vain imaginations you know in your own eyes it seems like something good is coming but at the end is it's all destruction man you know it's all destruction because in this kingdom what they put in your front of your of, of your face they have all these paid out celebrities they have all these hired so-called um um gatekeepers and bullets you know these men they are paid you know to to deceive you to give you a fake imagination a fake image of what life is meant to be but life is something else totally different man now this kingdom is given into the hands of the wicked as written in the book of uh, job is it the ninth chapter you know that this world is given into the hand of the wicked if this wicked is not taken away from from rulership the kingdom of peace cannot come we can't have peace in this place you know that's why you see people are uh, people are suffering people are catching all hell you know then you know things are being revealed in these last days the so-called white man you know in power that says he loves everybody he wants to save humanity you know it's being revealed that all his plan is destruction you know he has nothing good in his heart read on verse 4 of an i should read three again so you get you get what the four is saying no it doesn't matter just read four straight up verse four of an unclean thing what can be clean and from that thing which is first what truth can come so you see people tend to follow their dreams their imaginations just like i said because of the so-called white man in power shows them what they have to follow you know but what's the scripture saying can you bring anything clean out of something that is unclean okay. or can you bring anything true out of something that is false no all your plans all what this kingdom tell you to do oh study get the best grades and get a nice job you know they tell you oh oh you're a woman you don't need a man you know you can do it all by yourself these are all false the base is false once the base is false the head and the rest is, is false you can't get any good thing out of it you know the so-called white man in power has no plan you know to make life better for you because it's not in his spirit you know even in the book of job it said can, can you make straight that that which is made crooked you know no you can't make straight straight that which is made crooked this so-called white man that's in power you know that is you know he, 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 he hides himself and, and he tries to he tries to portray himself like an angel of light you know all his plans and all his doings are wickedness and the end thereof is destruction you know so if you're following after your dreams in this kingdom some people are still in 2022 some people are still thinking of you know in five years time i want to have this i want to do this i want to do that you know you're a fool what do you know if the most High takes your life before then what do you know if destruction comes before then you know so this is the heart of of, of the foolish israelites in which you know according to the spirit of prophecy are the so-called negroes native americans and latino for the major part then we have other israelites spread around different parts of the world you know their mind and their thoughts are all vain they don't seek the most high yahweh hashem yahweh shai that's why they continue to catch all the hell that they catch like the last the last two videos that i did you know showing you the pastor in nigeria a very known pastor known as um, i think pastor jeremiah a very known pastor you know doing such a scenery praying and he has this video edits 
you know, with the, with the thunder striking in the sky, you know, all edited videos. Then you see uh, all these keys, and it says he has the keys of David, you know. And people, they flood to his church, they believe all that because the people, they, they love vain, vain, and vain and, 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 and doctrines of devils, as the brother just read in uh, first, um, Timothy, the fourth chapter, you know. So this is what it is, man. The people are foolish, very sottish. They don't seek after the truth. They don't seek after the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. They go after the wicked. And the wicked is going into perdition, is going into destruction, in which you, the sons of Israel that are following this wicked, you are all going to catch your own part of this destruction. You know? For the wages of sin is death, for the gift of the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is eternal life. And what's that gift? This truth. Okay? The gift of the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, which is going to earn you eternal life, is this truth. Knowing the name of his son, knowing the name of the father. In those days when Esau is going to come, you know, flooding like a wind, you know, like madmen sparing none, when he comes down and breaks your door, seizes your baby, you know, seizes the, 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 the little food that you have, you know, if you're calling on Jesus, 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 man, the devils are going to be laughing at you, you know. So read on. Verse 5. Wait, let me just try to increase the lumin luminosity of this thing. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Better. Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiastical chapter 34, verse 5. Divinations and soothsayings and dreams are vain, and the heart fancies as a woman's heart in travel. And now, you see, divination, all what this so-called um, white man in power, all what they do is all divinations, man, and soothsaying. You know, they tell you, uh, um, we, want to, we want to create a new world order, you know, in which, you know, um, everybody's going to be, you're going to be happy having nothing and all these things. You know, these are all divinations, man. Yeah, happy having nothing. How can somebody be happy having nothing? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense. They told you that you'll be happy having nothing. It makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. This is how you know that, man, the scriptures say if they speak to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there's no light in there. You know, these people don't care. They don't, they don't, they don't speak according to the will of the Heavenly Father. You know, how can somebody be living, you have nothing and you are happy? <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Go on, bro. And that's what, you know, many of our brothers believe in. You know, they still believe in this so-called white man that's in power. They still believe in him. That you know, whatever he says, they, they just believe. And this man is in Africa causing all different kinds of confusion, causing all different kinds of divisions between tribes, between brothers, you know, but they're not seeing it. He causes all this problem, then he comes back acting like he wants to bring peace and all that thing. But the people are foolish, man, you know. And the scripture tells you that where there is no vision, the people perish. The, pe the people perish, you know. If your vision is not the kingdom of heaven to come, man, you're going to perish, man. There is no two ways about it. You know, you're going to be fooled. You're going to be get caught, caught up in his divinations and his soothsayings. You see, the media, what he does on the TV is all soothsaying and divinations, man. They cast in spells on you. That's why it's called a broadcast. You know, they cast a major spell on the people because the media is all lies, lies, lies. And the word media, for those who don't know, it comes from the ancient Greek. There is a deep, um, there is a there, there is there is a deity known as Medea. It is the deity of illusion. You know, that's where you get the word media from. And these people, they believe in all these things. You know, they don't seek the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, and these devils, they have beautiful plans for you. Just go read the Book of Revelation, the the, the 13th chapter from the 16th verse down. You know, it has a beautiful verse, uh, a beautiful plan for you, in which that's the next step to come. And the foolish Israelites who are not seeking the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai now, they are all going to fall victim. You know? Now from there, let's jump down to... You know what? Let's keep reading. Verse 6, Sirach chapter 34 verse 6. It says, If they be not sent, 
from the Most High in thy visitation, set not thy heart upon them. So you see, these men are not sent from the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. These so called devils in power, you know. But the people, they rather believe to stick on unto him, you know. But it's not a problem, you know, it's also been prophesied that many are called and few are chosen, you know. We Isaiah 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. If they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them, you know. Now yeah. going back to what the brother just read, it says, um, If they be not sent from the Most High in thy visitation, set not thy heart upon them. So if they're not coming to you telling you that, hey, you so-called Negroes, Native Americans, you're the true Israelites, you know, if they're not coming to you telling you that the name of the Father is Yahweh and the name of His Son is Yahweh Shai, and that image that they make you bow to in the churches is not the image of the Son of the Most High, you know? If they're not telling you all these things, they're not coming in the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Shai, then overall, if they're not coming to tell you that, you know, What's written in the book of Revelation 13, 16 is that thing that's going to be inserted under your skin. Then they are not coming in the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. You know? But our people are not paying heed to all these things. There is so much distraction because this is part of his divinations and his sorceries, man. You know? With the multitude of his sorceries and divination. You know? Distraction. Now the new thing is you know, Mike Tyson punched someone in the plane. You know? When you're meant to be to, 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 to be to be to be vigilant and sober, you know, watching out for the devil, you know, but it throws all these um all these um distractions to you and people are crazy. It throws distraction to you, it brings your your favorite celebrity, then it, 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 it does a video opening the trunk uh, the, the trunk of his car, bringing out bundles of dollars and all that thing. It's all distraction, you know. Very soon that money is not going to mean any shit to you. We don't. Verse 7, Sirach chapter 34, verse 7. It says, For dreams have deceived many, and they have fed that put their trust in them. Dreams have deceived many. You know, many of our brothers, they follow their dreams. They follow their dreams. I want to become this, I want to become that. You know, I want to be the, the best rapper, I want to be that. But now they've sold their souls, man. You know, They've become slaves to the spiritual elite, you know. They have to sacrifice their own family to get money. They have to sacrifice blood, their best friends, you know. These dreams have deceived many. And now in Nigeria, where we come from, this dream is also destroying lots of people. You have children as young as 12, 13 saying they want to become Yahoo boys, you know. You have boys, I, I watched the video, as young as, uh, is this 16? You know, decapitating the head of, 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 of a so-called girlfriend all in the name of making money, you know? These are the vain dreams that have deceived many. You don't have anything to add. You don't. Verse 8. The law shall be, perf shall be found perfect without lies, and wisdom is perfection to a faithful mouth. So you see, the churches, they tell you that the laws are done away with. No? How can the laws be done away with when, when Yahweh Shai, our Savior, came to fulfill the laws? You know? The laws are perfect in the eyes of the faithful ones. Though we know we can't keep all these laws to the, to the maximum of our... Uh, we, we can't keep all these laws 100%. But those in which we, we can keep, we keep them to the best of our ability. And we love these laws because these laws are, are a, way, a beautiful way of life. Just imagine a world in which everyone follows these laws even Esau included. What kind of life is it going to be? There is not going to be suffering. There is going to be equality. There is going to be justice. It is the perfect law. And this is how you know that the so-called white man in power is a devil. This is how you know that there is no light in him. This is how you know he's a Satan worshiper. Because these laws, he put them aside and he follows his own laws in which all his laws look at the results. Our waters are all inquinated, the air is, is inquinated, the food is poisoned, you know. Children from, from, from birth, you know, they don't know, their, they don't know their agenda anymore, they are confused. Today they say they are boys, tomorrow they can say they are a girl, you know. 
there is confusion everywhere that's how you know that the so-called devil is in power and that's how you know the book of job the ninth chapter when it tells you that the world is given into the hand of the wicked you know this is how you know it covereth the faces of the judges who are the true judges the so-called israelites you know yeah. okay sir this is psalm 119 verse 142 it says thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth you know? The righteousness of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahusha is an everlasting righteousness. Yeah. The Most High Yahweh Shem Yahusha is not man, okay? Yeah. He's not a man. Yeah, right. And and from what the brother is saying, you know, the righteous, the law of the Heavenly Father uh, details what a man and a woman should be. But in this world today, when they have now, when their plan now is to do away with genders. They want to make, they want to, they want to introduce as many as gender as they can, which is not right. You know, that is not, not that what is the law says. That's eh? confusion. You know, that is Babylon. You know? And the word Babylon means confusion. Yeah. And that tells you, that makes you understand that we are actually in the, under the power of this ancient demonic Chaldeans, man. The divinators and, and warlocks, man. You know, this is what it is. But the people are blind. They follow, they're going after their dreams. And remember, I always say, in order for you to follow your dream, you must be dead asleep, man. You know? Read on. That's nine. Well, read that verse before you go. That verse again. Um, verse 8. Sirach chapter 34, verse 8. It said, The law shall be found perfect without lies. And wisdom is, perfect, is perfection to a faithful mouth. Wisdom is perfection to a faithful mouth. That he gave us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. You know, because this is perfection. We once were living in this life as blind men, you know, going after our dreams as well. The false dreams that the so called white man has kept before us. You know, it's either you become a doctor, either you become a lawyer, either you all this to be an instrument in his hands, either you become a musician, an actor, and all these things. You know, we were going after all these false dreams. As a matter of fact, when I was in the world, you know, I was producing music, man. I was also an artist, you know. I got a, 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 a big proposal that in which I declined through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know. And there was a time I was sleeping, I had a dream that I, I had something to do with, 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 with a top artist, man. And when I woke up, then I wasn't in the truth. When I woke up, I was like, wow, which means I'm going to make it, man. <laughs> it looks like a confirmation for my for my false dreams man you know it felt like man this dream means that man i'm going to be hanging with such people i'm going to be dealing with such people but you see the most i yahweh had mercy upon my soul just like he had upon the brothers you know all the people that are in this truth you know he brought this truth to me and let me know that you see whatever you're going after in this life if it is not the kingdom of heaven to come then you're going after vain vanity, man. You're running after your own shadow. You're trying to catch wind in your own hands. Is it possible? No. Read on. Verse 9. A man that has traveled knoweth many things, and he that has much experience will declare wisdom. A man that has traveled knoweth many things. So you see, and this, this point is really powerful because, you know, this is exactly what's, what's one big problem with our brothers who find themselves in Africa, you know? You know? They are there, they believe Babylon the Great is the best place to be in. They believe Europe is the best place to be in, you know? They trade their own traditions and cultures which has values for the traditions and cultures of these Babylonians without value, you know? Why? It's because they haven't come to see. In our place they say, who oh, no go, no no, you know? If you're not there, if you haven't experienced it, you can't understand it, you know? So when we tell you that this is the land of lawlessness, you know, though, you know, it's kind of like a little easier, you know? There is food, there is everything, you know? But in these times to come, as a matter of fact, <laughs> maybe it will be better for a brother to just be in those side of the world, you know? So those who have traveled, who have seen different things, you know, the most high, they have the opportunity of experiencing most especially experiencing you know a physical rapport with the so-called white man we that we've been around the so-called white man we can tell you easily as a matter of fact when the truth came 
and they told us, our teachers told us that Esau, Edom is the so-called white man. Men, we had no fucking doubt about it. Because we've lived with these people, we have experience with them. We know how they are, we know how fake they are. We know how they smile before you and they tend to hug you. They tell you, oh, we want to help you, we, we do this. And we see how they bring out the, 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 the dagger and stab you right at your back, you know. All this is thanks to movement, you know. We have brothers who have been to different parts of the world and they can tell you the comportment of various people in different parts of the world, you know. They can tell you how the Arabs are, Ishmael. They can tell you their way of life. They can tell you how the so-called white man is. But you know, people who are, who are just in one place, locked in one village or something like that, you know, they are easily carried away with illusions, you know. With what they see in television. With, with, with what they see in TV, because they dis what, they see, what they show you in TV is every... And you see, let me tell you something. This has nothing to do with who is living either in Africa or in Europe. Over here in Europe also, we have the most naive people, the most ignorant people in the world are found in Europe, as for me. The most foolish and ignorant people in the world are found in Europe. Over here in Italy, we have people, you know, because what they show them on the TV, they only show them, if they want to show you them Africa, they show them where you have those children who are, who are, who are thin, like broom, who are dying of hunger, you know, who have flies all over their face. That's what they show them that Africa is. And you have people who are 40, 50 years old, thinking that maybe in Africa there is no single car, you know, everywhere is just a desert, you know, because this is part of the divination of the so-called white man. It gives you a, perspe a, a perception of what he wants you to believe. So you see, those who travel, who move around, they have the opportunity of understanding more. That's what that scripture is saying, right? Yep. We don't. Let's turn. He that has no experience knoweth little, but he that has traveled is full of prudence. Can. That's just the whole thing I was saying. Can. So you see, if you travel, if you go around, you have experience, you know. The more you, 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 you get to certain places, you know, understand how things are, you get experience. And you know one thing that's locking down our people down in Africa, religion religion you know your pastors will tell you no this that blah blah they so believe in their pastors and all these vain visions that they see and they tell you oh there is someone in your family that is a witch it doesn't want you to prosper there is this that's all what they tell them man you know so when you move around you know you get to know different kinds of people you get more experience you know and if you don't have the opportunity of going around, what you just have to do is to listen to those who have gone around, you know? You see, the Most High has created this internet regarding to the book of, um, of um, Psalm 19, the fourth, uh, the fourth verse, you know? He has created this internet, you know, to open our eyes to many things, you know? Instead of you watching those musical videos and all those madness, you can open your internet and watch what's going on in Panama. You can watch a documentary on Germany. You can watch a documentary on this, on that, and see exactly what's going on. It's just like you traveling, you know? But the people are foolish because, you know, all they do is watch Nigerian movies from morning to night, watch music videos, and all this madness, you know? I'm referring down to the Nigerians because that's where we come from, you know? But speaking in general, to the world of Africa, where you have Israelites, lots of Israelites concentrated in those parts, also in Italy also all over Europe, man, and Babylon the Great as well. Verse 11, when I traveled, I saw many things, and I, had, and I understood more than I can express. 12, I was oft times in danger of death, yet I was delivered because of those things. The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live, so for their see, hope is in him that saved them. So you see, it says he has been, he has been in um, in danger of death, you know. But he was delivered by the Most High Yahweh Shemuel Shai, and this is the spirit we are also in, you know. The book of Psalm is it 23 it says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, you know. It says it's going to it's going to send its angels to protect thee, because the days that are coming are the days in which we really need spiritual intervention, 
These are the days in which we really need, we really need the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to protect us, you know, because wickedness and judgment is coming to this place because they've refused to follow the ways of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The, the judgment that's coming for the wicked is also coming for the lineage of the Israelites who, who decide to follow the wicked man, you know. So the Most High is going to protect His own people. He's going to protect us in the times of trouble, you know. In the days where people are going to be catching hell, we are all going to be protected by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because we know His name, you know. We call upon His name. And we know that His name is a, is a fortress, man. And we know His... And we know his uh what he stands for, his reputation, what he wants us to do, you know? Go on. Verse 13, The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live, for their hope is in him that saved them. Okay, let's get a quick precept in the book of Psalm 91. We always go there, you know? It says, The spirit of those that fear the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will live, you know? Fear is the beginning of wisdom, man. If you fear the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, then, you know, that's the first step to getting wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. But the people don't fear the Most High because, you know, they believe all the divination that's been poured on them by the so-called white man. They think the Most High is just that simple, simple being, you know, he only loves, he doesn't hate, you know, he's, 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 he's half naked and he touches your hand, you know, and he does all those kind of things, you know. That's what that's the perception that people have. They have this weak image with a long hair looking like a so-called homosexual. That's the image that people have. So they don't fear the most high. That's because they don't know it's true. But those who know the words of the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai, we know the reason why they call him Al Ashadia. You know, that's the word that um, the, um, the Christians call El Shaddai. They say El Shaddai, but they don't even know the meaning of that word. In the ancient Hebrew, it's Alashadia. It means demon-like power, man. A terrible power, man. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is terrible. And it tells you continuously in the book of Deuteronomy 29th chapter, you know, it tells you that I kill, I make alive, I destroy, it does everything. Is it 32, that's what I said, yes. 32, 29. Also the book of, um, is it 2nd Samuel or 1st Samuel, the 2nd chapter? You know, it tells you that the most I kill, it destroys, it does all these things. It's 32, 39, yes, I believe. Is it? Yeah, yeah. 32, 39. So, you know, people don't know all these things. That's why they don't fear the most I Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. But those who fear the most I Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, they are going to abide under the shadow of the Almighty Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Read. Psalm 91 verse 1 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High now, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty Now what's the secret place of the Most High? This truth man, this truth is secret His name is secret Now if you read the book of Proverbs Is it 30 and the fourth verse It tells you that who knows the, Who created all these things Who knows his name and who knows this, the name of his son You know this name has been hidden From the world you know, and this name has been given back to a few elects. Yahweh Shai, when he came, you know, when he was giving his prayer, I believe in the Mount of the Olives, he said, Father, I have declared your name to those whom you've sent me to declare his name to, you know. So that name is definitely going to be declared. That name is not Jesus, man. You're going to be calling on Jesus and your enemy will kill you with all satisfaction, you know. But those who believe in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That shadow is his chariots, his angels. They will always be protecting us. You know? Read on. Verse 2. Just give me the point there. Um, thousand shall follow my right hand. Ten thousand. Verse 2. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. So the most I Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is our refuge. is our fortress. You know? We trust and believe in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in the days that all hell is going to break loose. Because remember, don't be deceived. There is a time of Jacob's trouble, you know? A time like never before since the creation of this world. A time of great tribulation, you know? That time is definitely coming. And that's the time in which the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to test each one of us. 
either you're in the truth, either you're outside the truth, the Most High is going to test each one of us, you know. But we know, according to the book of 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, the 13th verse, that, you know, there is no temptation that the Most High is going to give us without making a way for us to, to escape it, you know. The Most High has prepared a way for us, you know. Even those who are going to die, you know, because the book of Revelation lets you know that many of our brothers are going to be headed. We might be part of that number, but we are going to stand still to the last end because we know the Most High is capable of everything, man. At that time in which they're going to cut our head, the Most High might just do it that we don't feel any pain, you know. The Most High can do it that, you know, it puts that heavy spirit on us, that we don't feel anything, we don't feel pain, you know. Verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the of the fowler and from the noisome of pestilence. Now the biggest snare of this fowler, you know, the fowler is the wicked. Esau Edom. His biggest snare is, is lies. Lies and deception. You know. Remember that you know he was locked down for a thousand years so that he wouldn't deceive the world. Because his biggest snare, the biggest the snare is also known as a trap. You know, the biggest trap is his lies and deception. This man is a clown, man. You know, he's always lying. He's always coming with different deception. His politics is all corrupt. You know, he's a scam. He's the biggest scammer on earth, you know. Esau Edom is the biggest scammer on earth. The so-called white man, you know, the banking families that are ruling the world, they are the biggest scammers on this planet, man. You know, and as I said, his biggest traps are lies religion philosophies doctrines you know and these are the things that people are following and that's why we out here crying unto the sons of israel come out of these philosophies come out of these religions come out of these doctrines and these ways that this world has taught you all your lives you know because there is no truth there there is no life there you know the end of all this is destruction I think you stopped at Pestilence, right? Okay. Um, the snare. Okay. Verse 4, Psalm 91, verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wing shall thou trust. Those are the chariots, man. You know, the so called UFOs are the chariots of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Al Shai. And they will protect us in the times that are coming, man. You know, they will protect us from all the destructions that are coming upon the earth. You know, the book of the book of um, the book of Job, the fifth chapter, if you read from the sixteenth verse, it tells you that we're going to be we're going to be we're going to be we're going to um to be saved in seven troubles, man. You know, these are the seven tribulations. You know, and the seventh one is the destruction that is coming by nuclear ball bombs, man. And the most high Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is going to protect us under the wings, under his chariots, man. All people around us are going to be dying, catching hell. But we are going to be saved. This is our faith. And this is our belief. And we have this confirmation because we have the true name of the, of the Father Yahweh and His Son Yahushai, whereby salvation comes. You know, there is nothing new in this. There is no trick in this. The Most High has always done it. You know, when we had the, when we had the Egyptians, they were coming closer to us. It seemed like they were going to kill us, you know. The Israelites started murmuring and complaining to Moses. Hey! Did you bring us to this point to all die? What did the Most High do? He opened, he opened the Red Sea, man, and we walked. And what happened? Our enemies were all consumed by that. You know, we've always had different, different stories. Now we have the story of um, of um, Heliodorus. Okay, he came to Jerusalem. You know, he came pompously with all pride. He wanted to take away the 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 the, 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 um, the fundings. You know, they were saved in the, in the temples. He came very, very pompous. And when he came, the Most High smote him, man. He sent angels to, to give him nice floggings. And he went back to the king that sent him and told the king that, hey, if you have an enemy, send him down to that Jerusalem, man. He will come back really well flogged and scorched, you know. This is the power of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai. These devils have nothing on us. They have absolutely nothing on us, you know. And these are the confirmations because you can hold what's that scripture that says um command me the most i says command me uh, put me in remembrance something 
Yeah, no, there is one that he says, Com you command me according to his words, man. But anyway, there's that one that he says, put me in remembrance, you know. The most high is, um, is, 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 what's that word I'm looking for? Yeah, get that. Now there is a scripture Wait. Let me see if I can find that scripture Not really man. Okay, I'll see you. We done. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter forty three, verse twenty six. It says, put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou may be justified. Yeah, this is the scripture I was looking for. Tan, you see, we have to put to remembrance the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai because the Most High is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's tied to his words, man. Yeah, you know? Say, he said, uh, he put his word above his name, something like that. He puts his words above his name, Tan. Can. I'm looking for a scripture and I can't find it, man. What does it say? It's this. Can. Isaiah 45 11. You know? Isaiah 45 11. Just to tell you that. You know, the most high is not man that he says something, then he, he, he forgets that thing. Even to the point of telling you, command me, according to his words, man. Yeah, let me read it. Read it. This, um, <clears throat> Psalm 138 verse 2, he said, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. The Most High Yahweh Shemi Aoshai has magnified his words above his name. So if the Most High says he's going, to, he's going to protect you in the times of, you know, abject destruction, just believe that the Most High will do it, man, as long as, you know, you call upon his name and you do what's pleasing in, in his eyes. Yes. Isaiah 55 verse 11, he says, So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth, he shall not return unto me void, but he shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Can go to 45:11. So you see, none of the words of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai will go out void, you know. But these churches, this, uh, this, uh, these churches, these religions, what they try to let you know that they're, they're trying to let you think that the Most High is just like a simple man, man, you know. But no, the Most High is not a man. It's on a totally different level that our hearts, our minds cannot comprehend. And if we try to comprehend it, we're going to fucking die, man. You know? So the Most High is not on the level in which you think, man. His ways are far different from our ways. If the, if there is a scripture that also tells you that heaven and earth will pass, but the words of the Most High, Yahweh Shemi Shai, shall remain. You see? Those words, the Most High, can be held according to his words. Now, check this out. Isaiah 45 verse 11 Thus says the Lord the Holy One of Israel and his maker ask me of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands 
command you me. Can you see? He say, ask me things to come. He says, according, according, concerning the works of his hand. What are the works of his hand? His prophecies and everything, man. He says, command you me. You know, so we can boldly go before the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in all humility and sincerity, calling upon his name and begging him for protection in the days that are to come. You know. Now going back to 91, it says a thousand shall fall on thy right. I just get that precept, then we'll go back to we'll go back to Sirach 36, 34. Psalm 91 verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but he shall not come nigh thee. So you see, the most I Yahweh Shemi al Shai says, a thousand shall fall at thy right hand, ten thousand on the other side, but they will not come nigh thee. You know? But if you don't know the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you can't believe all these things. You can't even understand it, you know. So we know that it's not your money, it's not your social status, it's not whatever. It's not all the underground bunkers that they've, that they've stored all the food for a whole city underground to protect them. It's not that that's going to protect you, you know. If the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai decides to protect you, you'll be protected. If he decides to take your life, you will die. There is nothing any man can do about it, you know. So we are holding the Most High on his words, you know. He says, command you me. We're holding the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai on his words because he has promised protection. That's why we're coming out, you know, in all different kinds of weather, you know. Showing love and showing diligence to this work, you know. Calling upon our people to wake up, come out of these wicked religions, you know. And this is the spirit that's been going on, you know, the, the spirit was on Elder Apostle Arayam Lab when he said that you've been warned, man, you know. On those days of destruction, you can't complain and say, no, you haven't been warned, you never heard about it. No, you've all been warned because this truth has gotten to the four corners of the earth. Yesterday, I was watching a brother from Tanzania and he had other two, two brothers that I never saw before. He had, he had other two with him and he was teaching there and they were listening, you know. This truth has gotten to, the, to places where your mind cannot comprehend. You might be the only one who hasn't received the truth, you know? Why do you think they're blocking our channels? Why do you think they're chopping down our videos, you know? They're doing all that because they're angry because this truth has gotten to many parts of the world. And this is the truth that is going to save you from what to come. This is the truth that is going to make you escape all the wickedness to come. Yeah, because, yeah this is Matthew 24 verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So you see, this yeah. gospel shall be preached in all kingdoms and nations, man. You have been you know? warned. And you have been warned, man. You know, you have been warned because you have access to internet. You can click any video. A sister wrote me the other day and told me she was from a village in Nigeria. Man, and that was, that was a, a, a kind of place very, very remote, man, you know? A place where you wouldn't, you wouldn't even think the truth has reached there, you know? But the truth has got into all parts of the world. So don't be deceived, okay? Because this church is what they're trying to do, is to tell you that unless the, the, the Ishmaelites, which are the Arabs, until they, 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 they convert to Christianity, then it means that the, kingdom, the gospel has gotten to, to the rest of the world. But how are they going to receive that? They are Ishmaelites, you know? Well, the and it, is not it, for them. It's not for them. And the people who are there, the Israelites that are mingled amongst them, that are meant to receive this truth, they will receive it, man. Yes. Do you think Israelites are not watching the, the, the videos from Hebrew Israelites in, in, in Saudi Arabia? Yes. Well, yeah, so, the, just like the scripture says, say that, uh, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the earth. In other words, yeah, it, this gospel have reached everywhere and, and what we are saying now is, is the action of the of the gospel you know the prophecies is coming to pass you know so yeah. i yeah. never travel we never traveled to the united states to listen to the apostles yeah man we never met with them we were just in our houses the most high the spirit on us he gave us the understanding yeah. we opened our computers and we found the truth yeah. you know yeah that's to show you that the, the, the world is, 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 is in action, it's in effect, you know? Can. But most I said that his words cannot go out void, Can. you know? So in other words, he said that this gospel shall, like what the brother just said, we didn't, we didn't, we haven't stepped our foot in America before, you know? But what 
through uh, through this uh, internet, you know, we saw what is going on. And our we our it resonated with our spirit. You know, that shows that the Heavenly Father world is going out. It's not returning unto him void, like he said. No? I should go on. Can if you have some more points there. Um verse 8. Psalm 91, verse 8. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he hath given his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. So you see, the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai has given his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. You know, it says with only with our eyes, we, we are men, we're going to be seeing lots of judgment in the days to come. We'll be seeing lots of judgment. That scripture actually speaks about, you know, after we're going to be beamed in the chariots, we're going to see the destruction of the world wicked. Okay? But then, it also has to do with us seeing the judgment that are to come. According to the book of um, 2nd Esdras, the, 15th, uh, the 16th chapter, it tells you that people are going to be dying on the streets, man. There will be no one to bury them, you know? These days are coming. That's why we're out here, you know, telling you, seek the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai while he's still available to be found. And the only people that are going to stand those days are the people that know his true name, that call upon his true name. That knows that have the understanding of this truth that's where the book of um is here isaiah the 33rd chapter it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time go back to, uh, yes sir this uh, i think i thought it was 12. no i uh, um, you are in 13. Okay, Sirach chapter 34 verse 13, he said, The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live, for their hope is in him that saved them. Sorry, sorry. There is a point in um, Psalm 91, it says, Because thou hast... Thou hast made the Lord thy habitation. Can. You see, there is, a, there, is a, there is a precept in Psalm 91 that tells you that... <laughs> Why do that then? One play now. Okay, there's a scripture that tells you that you know we are going to be remembered of the Most High Yahweh Shem El Shai because we have made him his uh, his uh, we have made him our habitation, you know. Our refuge and habitation. We've made this truth our refuge. And how do you make this truth your refuge? You know, this truth needs to be the center of your dreams, man. You need to forget all your vain dreams, worldly dreams of becoming this, of becoming that. The kingdom that is to come, that is going to be run by our Savior, Yao Shai, needs to be the center of your dreams. Okay? It needs to be everything you ever think of. You know? So that's how you make the most high Yahweh Hashem Yao Shai your habitation, man. You know, we don't trust in this so-called white man telling you about peace to come, you know. We don't trust in any of those madness, you know. Because we know he's a liar, man. And we know there is nothing good that can come out of, out of wickedness, man. There is no truth that can come out of false, falsehood. There is no light that can come out of darkness, you know. Let's go. Verse 14. Whoso, whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear. Nor be afraid, for he is his hope. And this goes back to understanding the nature of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, just like I was saying, the churches don't tell you the nature of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. So people are scared, man. That's why many people on that day, when these devils, they bring out their, their, their CBDC and they present it to you um, as a so-called thing that's going to be inserted under your skin, People are going to be afraid. They're going to take it because they don't know the nature of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. They don't know the Most High can provide for them. You know, they don't know the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai because you see all these Christians and all these religions. They don't even understand the meaning of the, the, the thing. They know? don't even understand because uh, because you see all these Christians and Islam and all these people. If you look into them low key, they don't 
they don't they don't really believe the most High is going to save them that's why they're going after different they, they just take the most High like a side chick you understand that's what these religions they do when all hell break loose man they lose it man they are not stable but those who know the nature of the most high yahweh shemi Shai, how do you know the most high yahweh shemi Shai? his words okay but these words have to be taught to you by the right teachers because if you have wicked teachers teaching you about the most high they'll tell you the most high is that simple being he doesn't kill he only loves he doesn't he can't even kill a fly he wants a he, you know that's what they'll tell you about the most high you know amen if they tell you that man they've they've taken you all the old way around they've sold you man you know so we that we know the most high yahweh shem shai who the mercy has been upon to receive this truth you know we know what the most high is capable of doing you know we are not going to be afraid of anything in those days even before death we are going to stand still why do you think stephen why do you think stephen 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 was there when he was being stoned man was he afraid did he change that did he say i'm sorry no no i didn't mean to say all that thing why do you think that because he knows the most high why do you think shadrach meshach and abednego when they were being carried into the, the oven do you think they changed all of a sudden they start begging them because oh, forgive me oh, sorry we're going to bow to your image you know no they knew the most high yahweh shem yahweh shai so you see verse 15 blessed is the soul of him that feareth the lord to whom does he look and who is his strength blessed is he that feareth upon the lord yahweh shem yahweh shai and looks upon the most high for everything this is meant to be our mindset you know our daily food, our clothing, our everything, we have to depend 100% on the Most High Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Yeah, especially know? in these times. Especially in these times. Because the Most High Yahweh Shemiah Shai knows everything that we need, man. Do you think the Most High doesn't know that you have to pay your rent? Do you think the Most High doesn't know you have to eat something? Or do you think the Most High doesn't know you need a job? Uh, Yahweh Shai said that uh, uh, even before we open our mouth to speak out. Yeah, sure. I said before we open our mouth to ask of anything, he already knew what we want to ask. And I think that was in Matthew chapter 6 when he was teaching them about Can. prayer. Can. You know? So, what the brother is saying that we should, the scripture says we should focus on the word of the Most High. You know, because when we focus on this word, then we we'll know, we we'll know the plans of the Most High, we we'll know the time and the season we are living in. You know, so with wisdom, then we we'll know how to move. Because if you don't have the wisdom, like the scripture says, wisdom is the principal thing. You know that getting get with uh, get on uh, get wisdom, and you know that get to get understanding, something like that. You know. So this is why we 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 we, we made this scripture our refuge and habitation, like as we read before. You know. Verse sixteen. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love Him. He is the Almighty protection and strong stay a defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon a preservation a preservation a preservation from stumbling and help from falling man this scripture right here is powerful we need to read it again and take it step by step man yeah he says for the eyes of the lord are upon them that love him the eyes of the Most High Yahweh Shai is upon those that love Him. You know, how do you love the Most High without loving His ways, without loving His commandments? Yeah, you know, a, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments, man. Yeah, it's, it's, the love is not like the one the, the world taught us. You know, not that kind of love. You hear a nigga saying, "I love, I love God," with with crab in his mouth. You know. You hear a nigga eating a, a pork, a pork um, sandwich, telling you I love God. You know, that's madness, man. It's just like telling me you care for me, but you keep doing everything that I ate. Just like I always do to you. <laughs> anyway, you see, if you love the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai, you walk according to His will. You know, you do according to what He wants you to do. Though we always teach that these laws, we are not saved according to the laws, okay? 
because we are under captivity we can't keep all these laws 100 percent but the ones that we can keep we keep them to the best of our ability man i can abstain from eating pork from eating shrimps and all that unclean food because the most High has created those food for a certain reason you know but these so-called devils the, the edomites they, they rebranded a new religion and told you the laws are done away with now you can eat all those things you know hey didn't we tell you that the most high you know he holds very care in his words once he says something the most High don't goes back against his words and that's the same thing that they do they try to include everyone into salvation but the most High says he's going to save israel he's coming for israel he said he will never abandon israel so all of a sudden he abandoned Israel and he switched them for the rest of the world, you know? This is the misunderstanding from these religions and these churches because the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai is not working in them, you know? Just like um, Isaiah 8.20 tells you, you know, if they speak not according to these words, it's because there is no light in them. So read on, read on. he says, For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him, he is their mighty protection. And that eyes are his chariots, man. The chariots of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai are everywhere. Though we can't see them, doesn't mean they're not there. These chariots, we've seen different videos and we've seen that these chariots, they can, they can, they can switch their nature, man. They can become like a cloud. They can, become, they can become like a balloon. They can even be like a bird, you know. They can become invisible. The eyes of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is literally everywhere. His chariots are everywhere, monitoring everything. That's why you know it said that there is nothing that you do in dark that's not going to brought to light. You know, you can't hide anything from the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. Stop being a hypocrite like the devils, the wicked man. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. They have all their meetings in the dark where they drink blood and kill babies and sacrifice. You know, the elder apostle Gabbai did a lesson yesterday telling you that this is the season of their high demonic holidays man these are their feast days 13 days of of their wickedness that's from um april 19th 19th to the first of may this is the season in which you know you start seeing all different kinds of things happening man because these devils are offering sacrifices to their gods the powers that be man the powers that be all this um all your politicians that are in high places all these people they are all working for the devils. They are all devils themselves and they are working for Satan, you know? Uh, no, this, this, let me start from the beginning. Yeah, that verse is powerful, man. For the eyes of the Lord are upon, the, upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon. So you see, the most high is going to be, be our defense in all all senses, man. In all circumstances. In all circumstances, man. You know, when people are going to be catching all hell, you know, when um when um, um these Russians are going to cut their supply of, of gas, you know, during this winter, you know, if we're going to get to this winter, you know, everything is going to be rationed. If you don't have that thing in your hand, then you can't you can't purchase, man. You can't, you can't purchase, you can't get anything. You have to go according to what they say. You know, that's when the MOTB is. You know, that's uh, Revelation 13, 16. You, know, you can go read it for yourself. That's when all those things is going to come to light. When all these people are not going to be able to afford light, they're not going to be able to afford eat, they're not going to be able to afford anything. The Most High Yahab Hashem is going to keep us okay at that time. You know, when people are going to be freezing to death, when people are going to be being blasted by nuclear weapons, the Most High will protect us. We'll be okay, you know. So you see, there is so much to gain, you know, being in this truth, you know. Because once you are in this truth, you are actually, you are actually a worker for the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. You're part of the whole plan, because you see, Yahweh Shai said, you know, pray for, pray for. He says there are not enough laborers. You know, you pray to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to give us laborers, more laborers. So we are part of this work, man. We've been called out to teach this world, you know, to wake our people up. So we are part of this duty, man. We are, we are angels for the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. 
yeah. we're working for the most high about Shimon Shai. Yeah, first of all, sir, we are, we are the most high husbandry. Stand, yeah. we are the most high husbandry, you know. We are helping husbandry means, you know, Plant. planting, yeah. a planter, you know. So we are part of the most high Yahweh Shemi Aoshai's husbandry. We are part of his workers. So what, what do you do to your to your to your to your um to your to your good workers? Do you treat them bad? No. You try to give them different kinds of supplements, you know. You try to give them things that make them happy, that makes them work more. So the most high is going to give us powers in those days to come. You know? The scripture says we're going to fly as on, as upon the wings of eagles, man. It's going to make us a sharp threshing sword. You know, when the enemies shall come is as a flood, the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to lift up a standard against them. You know, the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will protect us in any kind of weather, any kind of thing. It's going to give us those spiritual powers, man, that you see in those movies, X Men and all that thing. The most high will give us those superpowers again. So you see, those who seek the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai have everything to gain and nothing to lose. You know, because this kingdom is played out. This kingdom has nothing to give you, man. We don't. A preservation from stumbling and, and help from falling. So you see, a preservation from stumbling. You see, why these devils have been stumbling block onto many with their lies and deception. The Most High is preventing us from stumbling into those lies. You know, because it says, those that depart from the way of, of understanding, they remain in the congregation of, of the dead. They are zombies, you know. This truth is a stumbling block, and the Most High has used Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, as a huge stumbling block. He has created all these religions that have become a snare unto our people. They have become a stumbling block unto our people. But the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, through the grace of His Son, Yahushai, He has given us that favor, He has taken us out of that vomit man of that whole mess of religion and different kinds of doctrine he has taken us out and he has kept us in a better place you know giving us the full understanding of his truth you know so you see why others they stumble even in the times to come because people are going to be confused just like the book of amos the eighth chapter the eleventh verse tells you that the famine of the world is going to come people are going to run to and fro they'll be confused and then there are going to be different kinds of deception going on because people are going to take full advantage. Some people will come out and say, no, I'm the savior. Some people will say, ah, the savior just came out there. He's in Rome. People will run there. People will go because the truth is going to be scarce, you know? So we are not going to be victims of all these things because the Most High has his eyes upon us. And remember, we are the apple of the Most, of the eyes of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. He says, touch not my prophets, and do them no harm, man. Nobody can come and do us any harm. As long as we believe in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, we're calling upon His name for salvation. No man born of a woman can do us any harm unless the Most High permits. Okay? We don't. And sorry, you see, your pastors, your favorite pastors, they're all going around with bodyguards. You know? Why? Because deep in their hearts, they know that the God that they worship is a scam, man. They are worshiping the gods of the, of the nation. You know, they are not worshiping the true power, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. As a matter of fact, the Most High hasn't given them the understanding of the true power. So they are afraid. That's why they have to work with all these bodyguards. That's why they, they have to hire all these, you know, security personnel and, you know, move in, uh, in, um, in, 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 um, in, you, in convoys and bulletproof um, vehicles and all that thing, you know? Let's read on. Verse 17, Tirak, chapter 34, verse 17. He raises up the soul and lightens the eyes. He giveth health, life, and blessing. The most I raise up, raise up the soul, and he gives it light, you know? Light represents this understanding. And darkness represents ignorance, deep ignorance, you know? Light, light. Uh, let me read that again. He raises up the soul and lighteneth the eyes. He giveth health, life, and blessings. So you see, all these things, they all come from the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, it lighten up our eyes. You know, remember that scripture that says, if your eyes are single, your eyes are meant to be single, if, if, if your eyes 
Uh, what's that scripture? Can you get it real quick? Babakasha. That scripture that says, you know, if your light, if your eyes are light, then your whole body is light. Okay. Yes. It says if, if, if it says if there is if there is light or if there is darkness in you, how great is the darkness or something like that. Can. That is it. Matthew 6, chapter 22. Let me see. Say, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eyes be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. So you see, it says the light of the body is the eyes. You know? Because the eyes are very important. When you see, your eyes is what receives information and it takes it to your mind, it takes it to your brain in which it's processed. You know, if your eyes are lighted up, if your eyes have the knowledge, the full wisdom of the Most High Yahweh Shimei all that it receives is being filtered through the Spirit, making your whole body a light. You get, but if your, li if your eyes, there is no, the light of the Most High is not in your eyes, whatever you receive through your eyes, is filtered through the misunderstanding and darkness of your folly, man. And all these things are being received into your body as a stumbling block, as a deceit, as everything, you know? That's why, you see, when we watch certain movies, when we watch certain music videos, we see beyond those things, man. We don't see the way the other people see. Other people, they will be watching some music videos, and the next thing they think is, man, I need to get that right. Man, I need to be as rich as that guy. Man, I need to do this and get all those girls. But while we watch it, we'll be like, man, look at the foolishness of this world. Man, is this what these people came to life to do? So you see, there is a difference when you have the light, the truth, because everything that comes inside you is being filtered through the spirits and you see the real reason behind it. That's why when these devils, they come, you know, they come, they be like, ah, we want to save the whole world. We just released the budget of 35 trillion, you know, to, 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 to help people that are suffering from poverty. We know it's all lies, man. You know, we filter it through the spirit. But the people of this world, they don't get that understanding. They see that and they believe, way well, everything is going to be fine. You see, so your eyes need that light of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because with that light, it is what is going to lead you and direct you to success, man, which is the kingdom to come. Verse 23, but if thy eyes be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If your eyes be evil, your whole body shall be full of darkness, just like I said. You know, if your eyes are evil, whatever you see, you receive it in a different way. You know, you watch music videos and all you do is covet the girls, covet the cars, Covet the money and covet all that wickedness, man. You know, turning you to a demon. Yeah. But if thy eyes be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkened, be darkness, how great is that darkness? So you see, as a matter of fact, you see the people, majority of the people walking out these days, you know, they are all filled with darkness, man. They are void of this understanding. They have no understanding. You know, all they care about is making as much money as they can, you know, getting girls, buying the best cars, and you know, it's all about things that are going to satisfy the flesh. But we, we work on things that are going to satisfy the spirit, you know? Verse 24. No man can serve two masters for either he we hate the one and love the other. You can't serve two masters, man. You know, you can't say you're in this truth and at the same time say, ah, uh -huh, I'm sorry at my job. They said I should take that Vicky Venom. Hey, what am I going to do? I'm just going to take it, man. You know, but the most I knows that I need this job. You know, he's going to forgive me. He understands. You know, you're being a hypocrite, a fool. Okay? You can't know all these things and at the end of the day, when Aesop promotes that thing to you and say if you need food you need to have that thing in your right hand you know in which that right hand represents your hand it doesn't matter or your right hand or your left hand okay you know 
Esau will tell you, you take that thing, without that thing you can't buy, you can't sell. And you say, man, the most I know is I need to eat, so I'm going to take it. You're being a fool, man. Yep. Or else he will hold to one. Oh, sorry. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve the most high. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and Mammon. And you see, that Mammon represents money. But let's take this thing to a different point of view. And this is what is killing the so called Christians and the rest of those, the Pentecost and all, all the sectors of the Christians, you know. Because once you tell them about this truth, even the Jakes wants to tell them that, hey, salvation is only for Israel. Jake, the first thing Jake tells you is, what about the so-called white man? Are you trying to tell me that salvation is not also going to be for the white man? Because he's serving two masters, man. He, he wants to follow God and yet he still wants to follow, he wants to save and follow the so-called white man that's in power. You see, that's another point of view from this. And all this is due to the ignorance and darkness that is in his eyes. You understand? Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. What shall you eat or what shall you drink? Just like we were saying earlier, you know, if you're in this truth, you know the most high Yahweh Shemi Shai and his full nature, you have, you're going to take no thought of what you're going to eat. The most high will provide. He knows everything that you need. He knows what life you need to live. Okay? The most high will provide for you in due time. Didn't you see Yahweh Shai? He fed how many people with five loaves and three fishes? You know? People ate and they add extra. We don't. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. What shall you eat or what shall you drink? Not yet for your body. Watch what you shall put on. It's not the life. Mother meat and the body. Mother remnant. Rain, raiment. Yeah, rem, rem, remnant. Yeah, remnant. So you see, you need to take no thought of what you're going to eat because many people are going to fall snares of all these things. You know, now all these farming have been have been purposely fabricated, you know, so as to have you under full control. You know, in order to control um, the people, you know, you, you give them some nice hunger, man. You inflict some famine, you know, destroy their jobs, destroy their, their businesses and bring famine into the society. So whatever you tell them to do, they are right there, ready to do it, you know? That's the technique that these devils are doing, you know? So those who don't know the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, who are not trusting in Him to provide for them in these days, they are all going to fall victim, you know? Sirach, uh, we're going back to Sirach 34 verse 18, he says, He that sacrifice of a thing wrongfully, wrongfully gotten, his offering is ridiculous, and the gift of unjust men are not accepted. And this is deep, man. You know, we can take this through different forms, you know. You can't, this also connects back to that, you know, you can't serve the most high Yahweh Hashem Shai and serve other gods, man, yeah. you know? For example, like, like uh, in the Christianity, you see all these uh, politicians, you know? Speak like, out. All these politicians and all these uh, scammers who got their money wrongfully. When they hit the money, you know, they go to church and they give so they many give millions. They give pastors, yeah. You know? And they become famous all real quick, man. The yeah. pastor prays for them, he does all that BS. Yeah. And this thing is really common in Nigeria, you know? You see boys who scam people and they take the money to their, to their pastors to bless the money for them. You know and this also goes in a different way and this is how you know that the devil is Esau man because there is no sacrifice that Esau can do that can be received in the eyes of the Most High Yahweh Shemiah Shai because all he has today are ill gained how do you say, uh, are, wrong, are, are wrongfully gained man yeah. all that he has today are wrongfully gained wrongfully the land it. that is is standing upon he shed people's blood to get that land so how can it be he the same person that gives you the name jesus to worship you know all his sacrifices whatever he does even when he calls god 
It's all an abomination. Yeah, the scripture said the prayer of the sinner is an abomination. It's an abomination. You know? So this is a this is a good way to know that the so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know? It does the will of Satan who is the adversary. Because everything he has is ill-gotten. You know? So none of his sacrifices, none of his prayers is going to be answered. Okay? Verse 19. The Most High is not pleased with the offerings of the wicked. Neither is he specified for sins by the multitude of sacrifice. So you see, if you are doing the will of the wicked, if you are Israelites, automatically you also become a wicked like the wicked. The only difference is, you know, in the kingdom you're going to be saved. That's the only that's the only difference. But before the eyes of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahusha, you're classified as a hidden. You're classified as a wicked, you know. So, if you're doing the will of this man, you're being a celebrity or whatever, you're gaining all that money, all that fame and everything you know and low-key you're still seeking for for salvation man you're just deceiving yourself you get the point you're just deceiving yourself you can't serve two masters you know so all these are celebrities or those brothers who are thinking of oh i want to go into music industry i want to do this i want to do that i want to make some money with this you know if you pray to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, your sacrifices are not going to be received because our sacrifices right now, the perfect sacrifice is the son of the Most High Yahweh Shai. So we don't need to offer animal sacrifices anymore. Okay? All we need to offer is a sacrifice rendering our whole full body as a living sacrifice. You know? When we come out to do this, this is our sacrifice. This is an altar, man. This is an altar. And we're rendering our sacrifice to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai doing this work you know so you can't say that oh I I, um, I want to I want to I want to okay what's what I want to say you can't say I want to I want to teach the world doing rap music you know what has light to do with darkness man you know you say I have a talent to rap man lots of brothers have talents to rap I used to rap heaven and earth man you know all brothers have all these talents but you can't say you want to use that to preach this gospel because it's not written that you should be using rap to preach gospel these are sacrifices that are not going to be received by the most high yahweh shimei Shai. read on romans chapter 12 verse 1 i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of the most high yahweh shimei Shai, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto the most high which is your reasonable service you see, the brother said, present your body a living sacrifice, holy. Okay, what is holy? Holy means set aside. Okay, you have to be different from the world. You can't present this gospel the way the world presents it with music videos. You know, all the Hebrew Israelites or the Hebrew Israelites, everyone writing the videos, you know, rapping and all that thing. You know, you can't mix two things together, man. Just like water don't mix with uh, with oil, that's how you can't mix this gospel, this truth. You can't mix it with God, worldly things, you know. And this is where you also get to know those who are truly following the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. Do you think that in Great Millstone we don't have men who can become great men in this kingdom? You're wrong, man. Many brothers can actually become great in many things. In music production, in rapping, in sports, in all different kinds of things. But we sacrificed all those things for the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, we left those things aside because we know that we can't mix those two things together. But you see, different Hebrew Israelite camps like Sikari, like the IUIC, uh, ISUPK, and all these things, they're trying to infuse the word of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai also into worldly things. You know, making it a corrupt sacrifice. That's the sacrifice of Cain, man. You know, Cain knew what he had to do, but he went ahead to offer a different sacrifice, and the Most High refused the sacrifice. That's how the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to refuse the sacrifices of these people that are trying to include, you know, the worldly things into this gospel, man. 
this gospel is pure in itself you know it's simple we said oh watch man stand ye at the gate and call upon the sins of these people unto them you know this is what we're meant to do simple man not doing some rap videos or, or, or including uh, 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 our, our classical dance into some Hebrews or like music, whatever, or you doing, know. Or doing fashion shows. Or doing fashion shows, yeah, that's, you know. That's what it is. They turned, they, turned, they turned the Passover of Yahweh Shai into a fashion show and they turned it to, to a celebration of their leaders, you know. They even made it a night of singles. <laughs> Where singles meet. <laughs> yeah, verse 2. He said, and be not confirmed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. Man, be not conformed to this world. How do you conform to something? You know, it says you should be transformed by the renewing of the mind. If you receive this truth, you come into this truth, you become a new man, a brand new man, man. Yeah. You know, all your worldly desires of doing. Man, before I came into this truth, you know how many hours I was spent in the studio making beats, you know, recording artists because I had people coming to record. I had projects I was making for people. Ever since I came into this truth, the studio just got abandoned, man. I didn't have one single time. I never even opened the, the, the app anymore, the Logic Pro X. I just had to cancel it. You know, I had plugins that I spent a lot of money to buy. I had different things, you know. I just gave everything up because why? The world it has transformed me to a new man. Then the worldly things that I used to crave, you know, they weren't no more, they weren't no more, you know, that interesting to me. You know, that doesn't mean that making music every now and then is wicked, you know, you can do it. But even there was a time I even tried to do it, you know, I just got bored real quick. And I was surprised. I would be on I'll be on the computer, you know, working on projects for days, man night all night you know then all of a sudden the most i took that desire away from me and he gave me this truth and which is the best thing i've ever received in my whole entire existence this truth you know so this world is meant to to, to 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 renew you as a new being man you know just like the brother read earlier you can't have two masters you know you can't be one leg in the world and one leg in this truth it's not done the most i have Hashem Yahusha is not food man because people think they're smarter than the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. People, people actually think that they are smarter than the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So they, they, they sneakily, you know, put one leg into the world and one leg into the truth. Thinking the Most High wouldn't understand. Thinking the Most High doesn't see. But man, you're fooling yourself. You're fooling yourself. Read on. And be not confirmed to this world, but be you transformed. By the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Yahushai. So what is that thing that is acceptable to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? You know, he told us not to conform to the world. It's simple, man. That's why in Great Millstone, you know, you see no gimmicks, man. You don't see brothers making rap videos and all that thing, you know. To those of you who are still out there, you know, seeking what come to follow, hey, you, you have it right before your eyes, man. You know, in the days of destruction, you wouldn't have any excuses because some people are still out there watching the GMS videos and trying to make comments to us brothers, but man, you're hurting yourself, you know, because days are coming in which you see these prophecies, they start happening, and the first thing you remember were the days you were mocking. <laughs> You know, the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is not mocked. It's going to laugh at your calamity in those days. You know? Yeah, yeah those days. You know, the scripture says, every idle word, man speak. Dan, you, Dan. Shall, you shall stand against Dan. him. You know? So that day your word will come back to you. Dan. You know? Because Dan. the most, like brother said, the uh, scripture said, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. Whatever a man, a man soweth. He receives, he sows, man. Yeah. Uh, what, what, whatever a man soweth, he repeats, man. Yeah, he repeats. You can't you can't sow wickedness and corruption and gain godliness and and, and, and and righteousness. No. You know? You have to put into work. So those people that are going to be saved in those times to come, 
those men, they've been putting into work, man, for a long time. You know, they've been sincere with themselves, first of all, then sincere with the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. You see all these Hebrew Israelites camps, they are low key businesses, man. High businesses, if you see how much they make, you'd remain, you remain like, wow. I saw a video, now you can take this as a hating or whatever. I'm not hating, but I'm just commenting on what I saw. I have a video on my phone in which the, uh, the dick on a car, you know, he had this, this high style chain of the Sikari, man, you know, and we know what it means to, to, to get an high, high style chain. It costs a lot of money, you know, he has a high style chain with Sikari. Then he was posing with, a, with another guy with, 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 with an AK-47, you know, with 100 rounds of bullets, you know. What has that to do with the light? What has that to do with this understanding and truth? You know? We don't. Ecclesiastic, go back to Ecclesiastic, right? 34 over 20. Whoso bring, whoso bring it an offering of the goods of the poor, does as one that killed the son before his father's eye. Hey, so you see, all these Hebrew Israelite camps that are selling merch, man, using this um, this gospel, this truth, using this truth to make money, you know? Their sacrifices are not sacrifices that the Most High will receive, you know? They make camps and they tell you, man, that you have to buy garments only from them, you know? They make camps, they, they, they make, they have camps, they, they sell merches that, you know, members are meant to buy those merches every month, you know? All your sacrifices are not are not going to be received by the Most High Yahweh Shemia Shai. Now going back to the root of the wicked, Esau Edom, you know, all that he has gained are ill gained things, man. There is no sacrifice that the, the, the so-called white man would do to the Most High Yahweh Shemia Shai that's going to be received. Because even right now, all his riches and all that he has is out of the blood that's been shed in Africa. It's out of all the innocent souls that were used to make those riches. America was built on the back of the slaves who are the so-called Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Negroes, man. They used them to build America just like many other parts of Europe. And you think the most, the most high is going to forget all that thing that the so-called white man has done? No way. Remember the most high, Yahweh Shem Shai is just. The most high is slow to anger, but once it comes with that anger, man, you have to get it, man. So you think that all these riches that you see here in Europe and all these things, people are dying in Congo for you to have your, your mobile phone. You know, there is a stone that's called the coltan. Without that stone, your, 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 your devices cannot work, your computers, your phones. Now go to those mines, they are babies, you know, little children mining in those places. You know, people are dying every day. Those people that are mining these things, they are under abject poverty, man. You have refineries where they dig out diamonds. All these things go to the Queen of England, to the banking families, the Rothschild and all these people. You know, do you think the most high Yahweh Hashem Shai is going to forget about all these things? And these things, as we say, it is not something that they did in the past. They keep doing it until tomorrow. Okay? So do you think that these people are the men of the most high? Do you think they are doing the will? Do you think that when the Pope stands there on Sunday and does that is wicked angelus? Do you think that all the sacrifice that has been offered, let's pray for Ukraine? Let's pray for the dead people. Let's do this. Do you think the Most High receives all that? No. The Most High Yahweh Hashem is not fooled. You know, a man can be fooled, a man can be deceived, but the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai is not on the same level. Simple and period. Let's read. And people are really hypocrites, man, because if you put one plus one, you can understand what's going on, man. If you put one plus one, you get two. But people now, they want one plus one to be leveled, all by all, by all means, man. You know? Verse 21, Sirach 34, 21. The bread of the needy is your life. 
He that defrauded him, therefore, is a man of blood. The bread of the needy is his life, man. He that defrauded the, the needy, you know, is a man of blood. Is a man of blood. Why do you think that, you know, there, there is confusion in Africa? You know, the elder Araka uh, Yakwam, he posted a video in the group chat yesterday, which is a video of the genocide in Rwanda. Man, who was behind this genocide? Who was behind it? He saw Edom. The genocide of, of the Biafrans in Nigeria, who was behind it? He saw Edom. He comes in and he sets division between the people, you know? He shed their blood, they kill themselves out of foolish ignorance because they don't know the Most High. They love their oppressors, man, you know? And we're still here telling you to wake the fuck up, man. Come into your view, to your normal senses, man. To be sober means coming, to your, coming into your right mind, you know? But they love their white man. They want the white man to be saved even before them. How can you have a kingdom without the white man around? Man, that kingdom will be beautiful. So you see the foolishness of our people, the same people, they print our money, the money that's being used in Africa, you know, the money that's being used in Mali, in, in Congo, even in Nigeria, these are central banks owned by private properties, man. The Rothschild, the Oppenheimers, and the rest of the banking families, the Queen of England, they all own all these things, man. These are private properties, you know, and you're out, you're out there, you're killing yourself for crumbs while this white, the so-called white man that says he loves you, you know, that brought you that churches, he gave you the Anglican churches, he gave you the Catholic churches, he gave you Pentecostal, he gave you the Mormon, he gave you Jehovah's Wickedness, he gave you all these things, you know, and you still love him. Man, these people are foolish, man, you know. Jeremiah the prophet was right, man, when he says, my people are foolish, they are sottish children. You know, in the book of Jeremiah, the fourth chapter. You know? Yep. So you really need to wake up from this madness, man, because you see, these are all divinations. You see, this white man's kingdom, his kingdom is being foiled by, 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 by your foolishness, you know? Your foolishness is what carries this kingdom continuously. Your foolishness is what makes this man's kingdom keep going your foolishness is what gives gain and power to this to this man because he can't get to where he is without deceit and lies you know so the more people that are deceived you know the more they help his kingdom he uses propaganda machines to turn your heads against one another you know he used the, uh, uh, the, 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 the the propaganda machine to make you hate the people that are doing right in the world and to make you love the oppressors, man. You know? This is the, this is the divination that he does, is witchcraft, you know? Now this man goes around the world shedding lots of blood. Wherever he steps on, there is always problem. There is killing, destruction, and famine, you know? Wherever he steps his feet on, you know? But nobody questions him. For everybody is okay. He has the past, he can do it. You know? This is all divination and witchcraft. You have to wake up from all this illusion before it's too late. Okay? The scripture also tells you that you seek the most high Yahweh Bashem in the in your youth, man. Seek the most high early enough. You know? Because the days are coming in which, men, you will remember all these things that I will tell you. You know, your so-called loving, so-called white man, your loving, most cherished white man will become the one hunting your life down, man. You know? And he has been doing this for a long time. He has always been doing this. But your eyes were blind. So when we, when, when, when we bring out the scriptures and we tell you people these things, you know, we read these things and we tell you that, you know, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, is the man of sin, is the wicked man that's to be revealed, in which is being revealed in our angles. You think we just say all these things because we don't know what we're saying. No, 
It's because the Most High Yahweh Shemi Osai has revealed these things to us. You know, He has opened our eyes. So now we see clearly, we know who is who. We know our right from our left. Sirach chapter 34 verse 22 it says, He that taketh away his neighbor's living, slay him, and he that defrauded the laborer of his hire is a blood shedder. Okay, now you want to tell me this is not the so-called white man? Do you want to tell me this is not, not the so-called white man? And you know what? I'm going to also throw your Nigerian pastors into this because you know they build universities and schools their members cannot even afford. And those universities and schools are all built by the tithes that they collect from the poor and needy. You know? But majorly that's the so-called white man right there. His photo is meant to be kept right beside that precept. Verse 23. When one build it and another pulled down, what profit have they then but labor? <laughs> when one prays and another curses, whose voice will the Lord hear? Verse 25. He that washes himself after the touching of the dead body, if he touches it again, what availed his washing? And now, you know, this is talking about. He's talking about, you know, you brothers that deep in your heart, you know, you might be in this truth, but deep in your heart, you're still wicked as a nigger in the world, you know. All your, all your moves, you know, in coming to this truth, it makes no sense. It has no meaning, you know. If you come into this truth and still being a nigger, or you come into this truth and you're always falling out, man, the most High is ready to destroy you, man. You're nothing but an unclean person, man, you know. Remember, according to the law, if you touch a dead body, you have to wash yourself in order to be clean, you know? So, if you wash yourself clean now and you, you go and touch the dead body again, what's, what sense does it have for you, you know, washing your body at the, right at the beginning? What sense does it have? It makes no sense. If you're coming into this truth, you have to be prepared and ready to face whatever comes with this truth, you know? The Bible tells you that the journey is not going to be a smooth and easy journey, you yeah. know? Yeah, that's what yeah, I was trying to say, you should count the cost, you know? Naret, uh, when, when, Naret, when things come and do, when some of my want to build, you see that as a blessing. Can, 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 this is really beautiful. Yeah, Yahusha was saying, he gave a parable, man. He said, if you, um, um, what's that builder, you know, that builder, he, does, he hasn't made calculation of how much he needs. To build and he starts building people will laugh at that man you know you can't get into something in which you're not ready for you know don't even try it man you know the most high yaba shimmy shy he hates when people make a swear you know they make a promise and they don't keep that promise you know because when you come into this troop it's like making a promise unto the most high yaba shimmy you shy know? because you denounce the world you denounce everything and you, cho you choose to walk in his ways and his path, yeah. you know? That's born again. That's been born again, you know? Then once you refuse to start following that way that you've done, you know, before the most high Yahweh Shemi Al-Shah, it's not a good thing, man. It's not a good thing, you know? So to those brothers who are one leg in the truth, one leg out of the truth, man, you, have, you better be careful. You better be careful the most high is seeing all these things. Remember, the most high he has eyes over everything. He sees everything. There's nothing you do in the dark that would not be brought to light. So make up your mind. You can't be in this truth and still be going out to sneak some cigarettes. You know? You can't be in this truth and desiring another man's wife. Going to sleep with another man's wife and doing all kinds of wickedness. You can't be in this truth and be, and be frauding people's money on the internet. You know? You can't be in this truth and be gaining all these ill-gained riches, you know? It's not done. Just like your pastors, they do. These pastors are heavy in money laundering, man, you know? Criminal money, they launder all this money with their organizations. This is what your pastors, they do on the low. 
Why do you think many of these pastors in, in Nigeria are rich? Many of them are also rich because, you know, once you open a church, you know, you get that um, tax exempt um, exemption. Um, that tax exemption, which is the 501c3, you know. And so what happens is money can go through your account and these monies are not going to be monitored, man. And what happens? All these big launders, politicians, you know, all these great men, whatever, they make all these foundations and they launder money through those foundations, you know, and they give a percentage to these pastors. That's what makes many of these pastors rich because they have that tax exempt, you know, license in which all these big men need those such, such um, accounts. They launder money through those accounts. Or oh, before you know it, your pastor has two private jets. Okay? Last one. So, verse 26, Sirach 34, 26. So is, so, is it with a man that fasteth for his sins and goes no, again? Sorry, sorry, read a verse before, then you connect. He that washes himself after the touching of dead body, if he touch it again, what availeth his washing? Verse 26. So, if it is. So is it with a man that passes for his sins and goes again and does the same? Who will hear his prayer or what does his humbling profit him? So you see, that's exactly what I just said. And I, I didn't even know that was the verse that was going to you know, come up after that. You know? So you choose to follow the most high Yahweh, Shemi Shai. You fasted, you do all these things, you come into this troop. Then you go back to your sin. It's like a dog going back to his vomit, you know. So you see, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is not mocked, you know. This lesson was a various topic, you know. I personally, I was at the fight through it, you know. Hopefully, the rest of you were, were at the fight through this lesson, you know. The end is right here, just right here, man, you know. These prophecies, they might seem like they are long, they're not coming, but hey. Wait for it, man. The prophecies in the book of um, of Second Ezra that's telling you that a time of famine is coming, a time of like no other time. Book of Daniel, the first chapter, uh, the twelfth chapter. The book of um, Jeremiah, the thirtieth, the seventh verse. You know, they are telling you about a time of wickedness, of great wickedness coming. You know, they're telling you about all this time, preparing you, even if it seems like you know everything is okay. I did a video yesterday speaking about the word shrinkflation. You know, I don't know if I posted the video, you know. I was speaking about the word shrink shrinkflation. Now shrinkflation is when you take products, you know, and you start reducing the quality of products because of lack of, um, of, of supply. Now we are actually into that. The products in which you, you used to buy before in the supermarket that used to be uh, maybe 70 kilos or whatever. Now they reduce it, they give you the same number, 70 kilos, but they use, they use sense and they reduce it. You don't know, you don't notice it. Maybe they put air in the pack, you know. You think it's still the same thing, you know. And why are they doing this? They are doing this because supply, the supply chain is cut short, you know. Russia and Ukraine, they give about 15 to 30% of the world consumption, okay. And not only that, Russia, Ukraine and Belarus, are the major three com countries that give fertilizers to the rest of the world you know and without fertilizers you, your crops cannot grow you know without fertilizers your crops cannot grow and they come from those three countries and those three countries now they have problems man you know and they stopped giving all these things out what do you think is coming next you know so what they do is that shrinkflation not to get the people into panic you know they don't want you people to panic. They don't want you to get to the supermarket and say, ah, there is nothing in the supermarket. So they, they, they introduce that shrinkflation. And this is the same thing that happened in ancient Rome, you know? Yes, you start buying for the same amount of money, the same good, but for lesser, for lesser of that good, you know? And they do that, they can only go on to a certain time because there is a time in which all the stores, because what you see in the supermarkets right now, are the things that they have stored down you know because the supermarket they always have big stores you know where 
you know all these goods they're always coming in you know so once all these things finish up man what's going to happen but the people are still thinking everything is fine yeah i can still buy i can still buy my potatoes i can still buy this you know but a time is coming in which all these things are going to finish you know suffer is coming man destruction is coming famine is coming in a whole big style like you never seen before you know let's get the book of um matthew 24 is it the sixth verse seventh verse right there that speaks about farming matthew 24 verse 7 for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquake in diverse places and what did he say what does he say next all these things are all these are the beginning of sorrow all these are the beginning of sorrow so we start seeing these nations fighting we start seeing all these things famines are coming all these are the beginning of sorrows oh the future has nothing beautiful to offer you right here in this kingdom you know but we that we're in the truth we know there is something beautiful coming out of all this which is the kingdom to come the liberation through our savior Yahweh shy but the rest of you are going to be blinded you know and you're going to be deluded man because all your plans all your wishes and everything that you've said you will do five years to come uh, where do you see yourself 10 next 10 years you know hey shut your fucking mouth up man because you don't know if the most High is going to take your life this day man you know so hey prepare yourself for what's about to come and the only way you can prepare yourself is through the spirits having the true name of the most high yahweh shem shai in this lesson we've told you how important those names are you know we've told you so you've been warned don't say you haven't been warned you're still in christianity one leg in and one leg out you've been warned you're still following the philosophies of this world you've been warned you're still having your dreams that you're following the next 10 years you you have you have an ambition you want to receive you've been warned so hopefully this lesson was edifying to the spirit and power of the most high yahweh shemi shai if you have something to add yeah just one scripture this second chronicle verse 7 Verse 7, no, chapter 7, 7, verse 14. It says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. If my people that are called by my name, who are the people that are called by the name of the Most High? Israelites. You know, the name Israel in, uh, in, in, in the, in the Lashwan Kadash, in the ancient Hebrew tongue, is Yashar Allah. It means the princes of the power, you know. We are the ones called by the name of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. He says, if we humble ourselves, okay, what else? If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. If you, if you humble yourself and seek the face of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, how do you seek his face? You seek the kingdom to come. Because if his kingdom doesn't come, we can't see the face of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. You know? You need to seek the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. That is that is why in, in the Lord's Prayer it said, "Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven." But these people don't want this. They want the will of the banking families to continue to be, you know, so that they can continue being niggers in this wicked world. Read on. Then we lie here from heaven, and I will forgive their sins, and we heal their land. So you see, the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai is so merciful in everything. He's very, very merciful. If you humble yourself, you know, just like we read in the book of uh, Jeremiah, the, is it, the 20, is it, 30, Jeremiah 29, 11, you know, he where knows is, the have for you. he knows the thoughts he has for you, man, you know. It says if you seek him with all your heart, he's going to reveal himself to you. You know, having said this, we'd like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushat, Ba'asham, Rukak, Kodash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. The men that taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this walk. Hey, stay strong. The kingdom is closed. Salvation is closed. Lift up your head. Give more thanks and praises to the Most High Yahweh Shemel Shai and give in more than ever because the kingdom is closed. 
Okay, on to the next one. Shalom. Shalom.